Asgard, proud and gleaming jewel of the Nine Worlds. The Asgardians have, since the Allfather opened his wizened eye, stood defiant against the wrath of their many enemies. The wrath is a sword easily shattered, and these foes have thus far been unsuccessful. Perhaps they need a better plan. It would have to be a cunning plan, full of guile. And it would have to consider, of course, the Allfather. Mighty Odin, ruler of Asgard. If he were to fall, then all the nine worlds would slip into chaos. But he is well protected. Someone would have to open the mighty gates of Asgard along the Rainbow Bridge. And the plan would need some way to neutralize the all-seeing Heimdall. Long as he watched over Asgard and its welfare. But he'll never see this coming. Not today. Asgard is under attack. Someone must have come up with a plan. What in the nine worlds? Something's not right. The cold. The old father must know of this. An attack! Wait, Thor! If I were Jotun, I would be bound for the vault. Warriors, we must protect Odin at all costs. The Jotun are coming for their birthright, the casket of ancient winters. Let's go! There are times when even the best laid plans succeed beyond expectations. Our poor, brave Sif. Dead. So tragic. So perfect. The Allfather declared her a true Asgardian warrior, for whom the halls of Valhalla would open wide. as if he expected Thor to find peace in such platitudes. How poorly he understood his own son. Thor is not interested in peace. The Odin son desired justice. Odin was not one to be swayed nor defied and forbade his son to wage further war. Knowing Thor was no less headstrong than himself, he ordered Heimdall to seal Bifrost trapping Thor on Asgard. Sif's blood would not beget a holocaust. As a good brother, I offered Thor what our father couldn't. I knew of a weapon hidden on Niflheim, one of Odin's ancient projects, something powerful enough to erase the Jotun from living memory itself, if Thor could but locate it. Needless to say, my brother was very interested. As Thor made his way towards Bifrost, I ensured that Heimdall would not interfere. Our father, on the other hand, had a plan of his own. He had decided to use the Odin force to rouse Sif from her deathly slumber and forestall Thor's building rage. And the final piece of my plan clicked firmly into place. It was no small task. The monumental effort would take its toll upon Odin, forcing him deep into the Odin sleep, repairing himself, restoring, recharging and resting. But Asgard would be well protected, guarded by the might of Thor. Or so he thought. Sleep, father. Sleep and I will do what is necessary. For Asgard. And for Loki.
face vengeance, abomination. For gallant Sif, you will know the wrath of Thor. You are far from home, Odin son. Yet you dare to challenge me. Your blind rage has brought you here to my domain. And here you will fall. Look around you, my iceborn cow. You will die without knowing the truth. Give me strength, Mjolnir, that I might crack this world in two. Wait. The ice must not be broken. In Oda's name, I am saved. I... What's going on, Loki? What is this thing? A problem. An enormous problem. We must wake Odin from the Odin sleep. But it's too soon. The Allfather... ...has risen. I awoke once I sensed the Mangog's presence. Quickly, for it comes again. And I cannot hope to hold it at bay for long. You must find Thor. Brother. Trickster! What have you done, Loki? The situation is grim. 
Mangog has run amok in our fair city. And... And what? Vanir spirit warriors pour from the very insides of the beast. A billion, billion souls, it says. Endless fury, endless rage. Then we've no time to lose in cleaning up your mess. Brother, it ignored even the cask of ancient winters. We need a power greater than the Mangog's furious fire. We need a fire hotter than any other found in this universe. A fire found in Muspelheim. Even now, Surtur, Lord of Muspelheim, is preparing an army to invade Asgard. They ready a portal, and once united with Mangog, Asgard will surely fall. Not while I live. Tell me more of this fire you speak of, and tell me quickly. The fiery heart of Surtur himself, an orb of purest Skabrite, burns more fiercely than a thousand suns. Command that flame. Control it with Mjolnir and Mangog will fall. To Muspelheim, then. Aye, it will be done. Midgard? What in madness is this? Loki! Loki! I'm here. Yes, here. Not Muspelheim, but Midgard. Frost grinder misfired. But look why. The Infernia invade. To hell with Frostgrinder. Find the Infernia portal, we find Serta. Surtur has grown more powerful than we had feared, my brother. Loki. What is this? It is no mere gate. Surtur is ripping Midgard apart piece by piece and using the energy to fuel his invasion of Asgard. Your beloved Midgard is on its way to becoming naught but a smoking ruin. How can I stop him? Surtur's legendary harvester of worlds, the World Killer. Cross into Muspelheim and seek it out. How will I find it? It is the harvester of worlds, Thor. Unlikely to be subtle. And then? And then, do what you do best, my brother. And try not to get killed. Gate is shut. No, Odinson. You are mistaken. Look, the portal. You see, it begins to open. Serta. I sense you in my domain, Odinson. And you are too late. The invasion of Asgard has begun. And here it will end. The portal shall be closed forever. Molten heart of Surtur is revealed! Yulia, take this power for thine own! Muspelheim shall not contain me. The Oldenborn commands it. Bifrost, to Asgard! Thor, now we can take the fight to the invaders. How fares Asgard? Tell me where we stand. Asgard gives ground, Thor, and she is in great peril. The Vanir advance, and only Great Odin stands against the creature. Mangog. So battle rages in the Orphan. Rage undersells itself, my lord. The Lady Sif and I were... Sif? She is recovered? She lives? And fights, Thor. 
Am I not warrior enough? Sif, I... I saw you fall. Yet you missed me rise. And let me tell you, that was something to see. Ha, <laughs> Sif renewed. And sounding much like the old Sif. And you, very much the same old Thor. Odin cannot hold out forever. Let us gather our best and fight back. For Asgard! Odin will be avenged! So swears Thor! Really, Thor, I'm touched. But you don't think I'd let it destroy our father that easily, do you? Loki, aid me! Thor, we will hold back the beast as best we can. We must weaken its armor before we can strike. It is at an end. The beast lies slain, and Asgard is rewarded by your valor. Father, I have much to atone for. My rage set this beast upon our home, upon our kith and kin. I made this creature and gave it the will to destroy an entire race. You may have freed it, son, but was I that created it. No honor has come of it. But we are saved. Together we... Together. You forget, my son, that within the Odin sleep I see all. Truth and tricks alike. At least some of us have found some measure of redemption this day. Oh, Father. What you did for me. I have no words to thank you. No words are needed. Your journey to Valhalla is for another time, and all of the Nine Worlds shall benefit from that. Souls of the Vanir, you are no longer imprisoned within this miserable form. I release you. May the hatred that formed you beget hatred no more. Go now to the fate you earn, and so richly deserve. 